Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making braised beef short ribs on top of the stove in a Dutch oven. Let's get started. So right here I have two packages of beef ribs and it ends up being eight, nine ribs. So that's what's in my package. We're gonna salt and pepper these pretty well, okay? Just put a good amount on all sides. Salt and pepper. Here we are. My ribs have salt and pepper on all sides. So right here I have a bowl and it has some flour in it. I'm going to take my ribs and I'm going to coat them with the flour on each side. I have a hot stock pot. I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. It's really hot and I'm going to sear my ribs until they have a nice crispy edges. Okay, you guys, so this is the crustiness that you want to see on your sear. Okay, it takes about six to seven minutes, slightly over the medium, and they're beautiful. Okay, you want to do that to all sides, and with me, I have to do it in batches because I have a lot. So because I'm doing this in two batches, I'm putting them off to the side on a plate. So my ribs are seared. And this is what's called a miracroix. That's the fancy term for carrots, celery, and onions. And we're going to put these in our stock pot. So here's my stock pot. And it has oil that's been rendered from the beef. I'm going to add my vegetables. And I'm going to let those cook up for a little bit, just so that they tenderize. And now your house is smelling really good. I cooked my vegetables on a medium heat for five minutes. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay, and I'm going to mix that in. I have this on a medium heat. I have three large garlic cloves that I've minced. I'm going to add that. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, let's mix all this together. I'm adding all my ribs back to my stock pot. Now I'm going to add four cups of beef broth. I'm also adding one cup of red wine. This is optional. Otherwise, you just go with straight beef broth. So now I covered it, I put the flame on a low heat, and I'm going to simmer it for two and a half hours. And here we are. These are my braised short ribs. Now let me show you, let me show you, look, look, how, look how tender these are. Okay, these are perfect. Two and a half hours. Look at that. You can see. Oh, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my ribs on a plate and we're going to work on this sauce. I removed all of my ribs and I'm also removing all these beautiful vegetables and I'm going to reduce this broth so that it thickens up a little bit and then we're going to pour it over our ribs. So this is my broth, and I was going to let it just continue to get reduced, but what I'm going to do is, this is a half a cup of water and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and what I'm going to do is I'm just 
going to put some in here to thicken this up. And it's going to make it kind of like a gravy. And it gets really thick, really fast. And just keep stirring it. Look how thick, look how thick it is. Already. This is beautiful. Look at that. So just give that a little bit to incorporate. And then we'll pour this right over our ribs. Okay, my friends, this is my beautiful plate. Look at my beef short ribs. And my gravy is beautiful and thick. Oh, my goodness. This is delicious. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Just put all this. Yeah, this is a great dinner for any special occasion. This is gorgeous. So these are my braised beef short ribs with lots of vegetables and gravy made with wine, but that's not a absolute. If you don't want to, you can omit the wine. You can just use straight beef broth. So these are braised beef short ribs. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to see all my recipes. And I will see you next time.